Every time there's a digital upgrade, debates happen. Everyone wants to have an opinion based on their personal experience. We come across different viewpoints with the rise of cryptocurrency. People in business took their time to observe what's better cryptocurrency or fiat currency. This debate of what's better than the other has no end, so definitely, there are pros and cons to both. It entirely depends on what's your business type. One school of thought is still trying to prove that fiat is more sustainable and reliable money. On the other hand, most people know that crypto is the future. Let's dig in and know what's the difference between the two and what's the need of your business. Cryptocurrency Cryptocurrency is basically the digital currency where all the transactions are fabricated and registered in a decentralized system. We call it cryptography. So there's no such physical authority involvement to assure what goes where. You can say no paperwork needed and everything is just at your fingertips. Types of crypto money. Right now, Bitcoin is the most popular cryptocurrency. But there are some other important cryptocurrencies. Ethereum or ETH, Tether or USDT, Binance Coin or BNB, Solana or SOL, Polkadot or DOT. These currencies are also created and supported by blockchain and serve different purposes. The idea of decentralization is a key aspect of all cryptocurrencies. We all know that money is a medium of exchange, and if it's all digital, who wouldn't love it? Fiat currency. If we look at fiat currency, it is like a proper, legally signed tender by the government, so the value of money is constant. Fiat money is not backed by any asset like gold or diamonds. The government has the legal right to control the circulation of fiat money in any economic fluctuation or unrest. Types of fiat money. The widely used common notes are fiat money. This includes US dollar, British pound, Indian rupees, the euro, AED. History and origin. Let's go back to the history of both for a better understanding of why crypto and fiat came into existence in the first place. What was the need? Fiat money is basically every type of money that is being used globally. Remember that you cannot redeem fiat money for any asset, and it became famous after the American Revolution. Fiat money is usually known as money with no intrinsic value. Back in the 11th century, China has some evidence of using fiat money for the first time. In all these years, 775 currencies have been created, but only 200 have survived to date. The fiat money is making the world go around since 1971, when the USA stopped dollar pegging to the gold. It happened because the money itself has no worth. It wouldn't be wrong if we call crypto a Gen Z invention. It's a product of advanced and modern minds. The first Bitcoin white paper was published by Satoshi Nakamoto in 2008. The talk about crypto started back in the 80s, but somehow the idea did not sit well with the people. Cryptocurrencies seem secure to the world as it was created and stored on the blockchain. Nakamoto invented Bitcoin, and the first blockchain was implemented by him as well. This was a game-changing moment for the world, a step toward the idea of digital currency. Cryptocurrency is not your everyday money. It comes either as coins or tokens. The cryptocurrency was introduced as an idea of decentralization. Now, you are thinking, what does it mean? In simple words, the idea of cryptocurrency promotes a very systemic way of money transactions with some set rules, but without a physical ruler. Basically, the state and government have no control over crypto money. It's a free yet secure space for all. Similarities in Fiat and Crypto Most people wonder if there are any similarities in both financial systems. To your surprise, yes. The credibility of fiat and crypto entirely depend on global acceptance. Also, both fiat and crypto are divisible. For example, one Bitcoin is made up of 0 0.0000001 BTC. And just like one rupee can be divided into 100 paise. You can use both for buying stuff online. Pros and cons of fiat currency. Everything comes with certain advantages and disadvantages. Just like that, fiat has its pros and cons. Here, you go with the pros. Accelerates and assures economic recovery globally. The government has control over the supply and circulation of fiat money. The moderation and circulation of money improve the standards of living. Fiat money looks more practical and personalized to people. Printing notes is cheaper and involves human labor that ensures livelihood for many. Countries experiencing rapid economic growth love the fiat money system with the rise in cash demand. 
Fiat money is widely accepted as legal tender. But cons are there too, as it's an old system and many interventions happened over time. Hyperinflation. Yes, fiat money can cause hyperinflation anytime. Printing too many notes can create trouble in frequent availability. Unlimited availability affects the worth and creates gaps. As the government has control over fiat money, the fall of the government can create huge economic unrest. Bros and Cons of Cryptocurrency Here, we are unfolding all the good and not-so-good aspects of cryptocurrency as a fair comparison. Let's find out what the benefits of cryptocurrency are. Higher the risk, the higher the reward. That's a rule for cryptocurrency. The blockchain decentralization idea makes cryptocurrency inherently safe. No hassle, no bank visits, a transparent and quick financial system. Using a crypto system saves a lot of your time. Investors can beat the inflation with smart use of cryptocurrency. The financial system is more advanced and goal-oriented. The disadvantages of cryptocurrency are fewer but realistic. The crypto system is very critical and not everyone can understand it. Investors do not consider it a long-term futuristic investment. The scalability and maintenance issues are as serious with cryptocurrency. New entrepreneurs feel security threats and give up on a small failure. Factors to choosing the right method If you are still not sure what's the best financial system for medium to high-risk business industries, don't worry, we have all the answers. Sadly, there's no one-for-all rule when it comes to choosing a suitable payment method for your business. But there are some considerable factors to choosing the right one. Understand your business industry. Observe the needs of your customer. Explore the regulatory requirements. Check out the processing time for payments. Find out the fee associated with the payment method you choose. Do not compromise on transparency and security of the payment method. These factors can be tiebreaker for you to choose the best payment method. Future of Fiat and Crypto Now, the real concern is, what is the future of fiat? Is it going to be replaced by the cryptocurrency? The modern generation of entrepreneurs is sure that crypto will replace fiat and rule globally. But business critics and investors feel that fiat and crypto can coexist. Most believe that both payment methods are beneficial for different people and both can work out for a better economic outcome. Some of the biggest business maestros are not in favor of crypto being the only financial system. Why? Because crypto still has a limited supply and is not accessible to the masses, and it is not going to change anytime soon. Books Recommendations We can suggest you some amazing books to read and learn more about the revolution of the financial system from fiat to crypto. The Ascent of Money, a Financial History of the World by Neil Ferguson Debt, The First 5,000 Years by David Graeber The Age of Cryptocurrency by Michael J. Casey Money, The True Story of a Made-Up Thing by Jacob Goldstein What is Bitcoin and Why is it the Most Famous Cryptocurrency? A digital currency created to make transactions virtually without being controlled by a person. Everything happens with one click and no third party is involved. Bitcoin was launched in 2009. It was created to cope with the loopholes fiat money left. It's not as complicated as it seems. For example, if you have Bitcoin in your crypto wallet, you can use it to shop online and pay bills. What are the risks involved in using Bitcoin cryptocurrency? Regulatory Risks there are no rules and regulations set for using cryptocurrency. As no authority is in control, the longevity of Bitcoin will remain questionable. No insurance. Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are not insured. In case of a loss, you have no backup of your money. Security risk. Being a digital payment method, crypto is smart and a time saver. But no involvement of government or state authorities makes it less reliable for investors. There is no such thing as a universal payment method applicable to all. The world changes every day, and smart use of digital methods can save you time and energy. We suggest investors don't feel reluctant to use crypto. Give it a fair chance at least. Side by side, do not give up fiat currency completely. Until crypto becomes more reliable and sustainable, let's step forward with fiat and crypto together.